Nano One, we are fundamentally a process technology company, and our vision is to change how the world makes battery materials. Why change what's working? So first of all, we need to recognize China has industrialized LFP cathode active materials manufacturing at very large scale. And in tandem, it has used an LFP process technology that leverages the in-China feedstock supply chain to support that. So we see four major challenges to overcome in order to build out a large industrial scale supply chain for LFP cam outside of China. So the first one is we're slow to industrialize. China is very fast. Outside of China today, every project has to go through bespoke engineering from A to Z of a plant, and that takes time. Permitting timelines are long and only really kick off after engineering is complete and they're driven by more rigorous regulations. The second challenge we see is on the supply chain side. So China has a supply chain stronghold in particular for iron feedstock for LFP, iron sulfate. It is a waste product of another industry, which is titanium dioxide refining. It may even be cheaper than dirt. The same battery metal does not exist at scale. There's nowhere near cost parity to China and quality is inconsistent outside of China. So read through that as higher process costs to clean it up and actually turn it into something usable. The third challenge is wastewater streams and byproducts of the conventional method. They are large, they're costly to clean up, and they're becoming more difficult to dispose of. In China, different regulations apply than in other parts of the world. And those other parts of the world want large volumes of LFP and they want localized supply. So this creates permitting challenges it adds CapEx and OpEx to clean that wastewater up, and it may limit flexibility and site selection. Lastly, it's know-how. Today, China makes at least 95% of LFP globally. It's about a 70% market share in China, and the rest of the world is projected to go towards 70% as well. And so China has developed this deep know-how in LFP manufacturing. And it's not so much that they have a process technology edge as it is a supply chain and know-how edge. And so as we look beyond China, where does that LFP manufacturing know-how sit? It's limited. And that's a major gap that needs to be resolved. Understanding the problem first enabled us to design solutions and a business model to get the ecosystem there. We firmly believe it's a strategic imperative to innovate. Don't replicate. To address these four challenges, we bring these solutions to the market. The first one is speed to industrial scale. So we have a design one, build many strategy with early engineering. What that means is we get licensed partners there faster. We engineer a production line with our technology and key equipment ready to buy which enables our licensing partners to engineer more rapidly outside the production line for their site. This means faster to final investment decision, reduced equipment lead time, and increased capital certainty. It saves the customer money, it gets them there faster, and it lowers their capital at risk. The second solution is how do we break the supply chain bottlenecks? So copying the conventional method outside of China with the same feedstocks will only result in higher costs. Our technology enables the use of alternative iron feedstocks that exist outside of China. And together with our simplified manufacturing process for making LFP, we reduce the number of process steps and the units of operations, which results in CapEx and OpEx savings. Our third solution comes from an easier to permit process. So through our design one, build many approach, licensing partners get access to critical permitting information earlier, not at the end of the engineering study. The fourth solution to address these challenges is we bring our licensing partners deep LFP manufacturing know-how. Lastly, is continuous innovation and improvement. So together with our innovation hub, which is in British Columbia, and our commercialization hub in Quebec, we will continue to improve our process and product. We see the opportunity to continuously improve upon it, whether it's OPEX improvements, CAPEX improvements, or product performance. We are nowhere near plateauing on where our technology can go. And it gives us an opportunity to sell version updates into the ecosystem of licensees we develop over time. So if you take our solutions as a whole, we bring our licensing partners cost competitive process technology, supply chain flexibility, and a faster to industrialize modular plant approach. Together with the backing and support of nearly 500 years of capital active materials manufacturing know-how and a leading patent portfolio to help partners stay ahead for Nano One to profit. 
This is our value proposition.